welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers. Because of you, I am here. Because of you, I can get more content and make sure I educate y'all and update y'all. Please watch this video and let me know what you think. If we tell you that the era when the Western countries take care of Africa's security is over, a powerful African country, South Africa, is rising like no one else, standing against the powerful oppressor and even caring for the African countries because the security situation has deteriorated in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the UN peacekeepers did Flames nothing. of righteous anger engulfed Kinshasa this week as Congolese patriots took to the streets in protest against the deafening silence of so-called Western allies in the face of unspeakable atrocities committed by Rwandan-backed rebels in eastern Congo. For decades, the blood of innocence has soaked into the dark earth of North Kivu, while the self-proclaimed defenders of human rights in Washington, Brussels and New York have turned a blind eye. But the proud people of Congo will be silent no more. Though the hegemony of hypocritical Western powers has forced Congo to its knees in the past, this time the Congolese people rise with fists held high to expose the moral bankruptcy of the American Empire and its European puppets. By burning their flags and symbols of imperial domination, the demonstrators in Kinshasa have fired the first salvo in a struggle for dignity and justice that will reverberate across Africa and beyond. The time has come for the West to pay for its crimes against the Global South, for colonialism and neo-colonialism to be consigned to the dustbin of history. As the courageous activists proclaimed amid the flames and smoke on Monday, no justice, no peace. Stick around to see how the proud people of Congo powerfully declared that they will be silent no more in the face of hypocritical Western powers. Large anti-Western protests are erupting in Kinshasa as crowds take to the streets. Slogans denouncing Western imperialism and demanding Congo's independence are ringing out loudly. The demonstrators give voice to long simmering anger and frustration over years of perceived oppression by Western powers. The size and passion of the protests suggest a boiling over of anti-Western sentiments in Congo after building up over many years. The crowds symbolize the Congolese people finally taking a stand against what they see as unjust meddling in their country's affairs by Western governments and corporations. The chants of Congo for the Congolese reflect a desire for true self-determination and an end to outside control over their nation's destiny. The outpouring of outrage on the streets is marking a dramatic manifestation of Congolese nationalism and pent-up anti-imperialist attitudes. The Congolese people are saying enough is enough. For too long they have suffered under corrupt Western-backed governments that cared nothing for the people. For too long their mineral wealth has been plundered by Western corporations to fuel extravagant lifestyles in Europe and America, while Congo languished in poverty. The ties between West and East, between colonizer and colonized, were finally being severed. The anti-Western mood expressed in the protests is especially intense in Eastern Congo. That region has dealt with years of violence and fighting. Rebel groups supported by Rwanda have terrorized the countryside in the east. They have rampaged through villages and rural areas, forcefully driving more than one million people from their homes. However, Western nations have been silent in response. They have offered no aid or spoken out to condemn the rebels' actions. This silence shows the hypocrisy and real priorities of the West. Western countries seem to care more about maintaining access to Congo's substantial mineral riches. They prioritize exploiting Congo's natural resources for their own benefit over responding to the dire humanitarian crisis harming the Congolese people. In response, the Congolese people are taking action. They came out into the streets as an act of protest. Their voices joined together to reject the deceitful rhetoric and unfulfilled pledges coming from Western nations. Protesters burning the flags of the United States and Belgium, Congo's former colonizer. This symbolic act is signaling that the time of Western control over Congo is coming to an end. The burning flags declared that Congo would no longer passively accept a future dictated by Western powers. Instead, Congo will take charge of its own fate and determine its own future course. The Congolese people will stand up to shape their own destiny rather than allowing Western interests to call the shots. Congo will stop being manipulated by the agenda of Western countries. The marches are not just taking place in Kinshasa, but across the country, from Goma in the east to Lubricity in the south. The dormant giant of Africa is awakening.
Moi, c'est l'exercice des moteurs. Oui, oui. <rire> oh, bonjour, vous allez bien Well, two South African soldiers have died and three others wounded in the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to South Africa's National Defense Force, a murder bomb landed inside one of their military bases on Wednesday. South Africa troops have begun to battle armed groups, including the M23 rebels in the rest of eastern part of the DRC, as part of a larger regional force called the Southern African Development Commission, or SADC. Early this week, the country said that it would commit nearly 3,000 troops to the mission. South Africa's military says an investigation into the incident is being carried out. Okay, guys, what did y'all think? Now... I keep telling y'all the atmosphere in Africa is changing. Now look at that. Our own brother is standing up for our brother. I just want to say condolences to the family for those two soldiers um, that came in from South Africa to the Congo to fight, you know, with their brothers. My condolences to all the family members. Listen, y'all, this is what togetherness look like. This is what brotherhood looks like. This is what power looks like. Listen, y'all, let's have more of this. Let us support them more. Let's be there more. Let's let them know that we appreciate them and we love what they're doing. South Africa, power to you. Power to you, power to you. Listen, y'all, I keep telling y'all, y'all ain't ready. I keep telling y'all, y'all ain't ready. Anyways, y'all, thank you guys so much for coming back. Please leave your comment below. Make sure we support our brothers that are taking care of our other brothers. Atmosphere is changing, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Know that Tony loves you and she appreciates you.